Hey everybody, Glenn here again with DigitalSandwich.net. I am here with a very long overdue tutorial, Animated Ivy in Cinema 4D, Part 2. I'm really sorry it took me so long to get this Part 2 out. I don't really remember what I was wasting my time on. But anyway, let's just jump right in. So what I want to do in this second part is I want to make Ivy grow, kind of like this, where it plays and the, and the Ivy vines grow and the leaves grow on. Kind of like that. Let's start a new scene and I will show you how I set this up. So I'll go File, New Scene. First thing I'm going to need is a plane to grow some ivy on. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees to make my wall. So let's see what we got here. So let's make some ivy. Go to Plugin, Ivy Grower Plugin. Now I'm going to skip over everything I covered in the first part, which included installing the plugin, animating the leaves so they blow in the wind. So if you want to watch that, I'll include a link to the first version. But for now, I'm just going to assume that you've seen the first part and know what I'm talking about. So let's Open up the Ivy Grower plugin. Under Growth, I'm going to click where I want my Ivy to start growing. I am going to set all of these parameters, what I think looks best, which I have already done. And it kind of depends on your specific scene, which is going to work best. So you might have to adjust these accordingly to get what you want. So I'm going to hit Grow, and my Ivy is going slow for some reason, but it's growing the way I want. So let's stop it there. That's perfect. In the birthing tab, I will set my branch size, leaf size, leaf density to whatever. Uh, again, depending on your scene, you might have to change these. And down below, I want to click this create polygon mesh. I want my leaves here as instances. I do not want a branch spline, but I do want to create this IG spline. IG spline stands for Ivy Grower Spline. And I want to make sure to include a sweep nerbs. And another thing to note on is sometimes when I'm using this Ivy Grower plugin, these texture maps aren't loaded in properly. For example, the normal map won't be there. The bump map will be just the color map. And if that's happening for you, just, just take a look. You can see here. But if it is, just click on it. And it should bring you right to the folder where all your textures are. And you can just make sure you click the right one. You know, bump, normal, you know, whatever. Anyway, so these are all what I want. I'm going to hit give birth. It is going to grow my Ivy right here. And there it is. Lovely. So let's close out of this and take a look at what was made. So we have a polygon mesh for the branches, the instance references of our adult leaves and young leaves, all of our adult leaves as instance objects, all of our young leaves as instance objects, and a sweep nerbs including our IG spline or our IV, oh sorry, I guess it's IV growth spline. But either way, a sweep nerves with our IG spline in it. So back up top, I have my branches in a polygon object. I don't need this at all. I'm not sure why it's there. I'm just going to delete it because what I have instead is my IG spline. And if we look in the attributes for this, we have the spline type. But most importantly, we have IV growth spline properties where we can animate the growth. And if we look here, we can grow this. So I'm going to hide my leaves for the time being so we can see this. But we can grow this on. I will. don't want to show this trace. So we can grow this on. But one problem you can see is it's very sharp. All these, all these points are very sharp. So what I want to do, and what I like to do, is change this to a B spline, make it a little bit smoother, and we can animate this. So I'm going to go to frame 0, animate my growth from 0%, smooth forward to about frame 90. Set another keyframe at 100%, and if we hit play, there it grows. So when it makes this IG spline, it puts it into sweep nerbs, but for whatever reason, it doesn't add a spline to give a thickness to the IG spline. So we're going to have to add a circle spline ourselves, or you can add a you know four slider or whatever you want, but I'm going to add a circle spline. We drag this as a child of our sweep nerbs right above the IG spline. And it looks like it goes crazy. That's just because the radius of our circle spline is way too big. I will put it down here to 0.5 works for me. We hit play again. There you can see it grow just like that. Let's go to the end of our animation and I will turn our ivy leaves back on. And so if we hit play again, the ivy leaves are always there because the plugin has no idea how to grow these on or when to grow these on. So it has no idea what to do. So basically what I want to do is just scale these ivy leaves up from nothing to their current size. And I want to do this as the ivy vines are growing up our object. So if we look in what we have, we have all of our instances as instance objects. Now I don't want to animate all these by hand, so I want to put all of these together so I can do everything in one in just one shot. So I'm going to make a fracture object, and I'm going to drag all of my 
adult instances right into that fracture object. Let's drag it in there. And if we flip this on and off, you can see it changes the rotation and the scale of some of these leaves. And to tell you the truth, I really don't know why it does this. Maybe someone later can inform me what happens, but I don't know why it does it. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to change the mode of the fracture object to explode segments and connect. We're just going to make them, if it's on and off again, exactly how I want it. So this is my instances adult. And I'm going to do the same thing for my instances young. Let's go to MoGraph fracture object instances young. I will drag all of my instances young, young instances inside of this. We will change the object mode to explode segments and connect. And we get this weird thing where it looks like everything disappears. And what's causing this are our instance objects. Now for whatever reason, the fracture object and the instance objects don't really work together very well. So they kind of turn invisible. So what we're going to have to do is select all of our instance objects, turn off render instances, or adult leaves too, and there our leaves are back. So it's just something that Cinema 4D does. You can't, we kind of have to work around it. The next step is we need an effector that will change the scale of these leaves. So I am going to use a shader effector. And let's apply this to our fracture object. It's like both of our fracture objects. Click on effectors. Drag our shader effector in there. In the shader effector, under parameter, I want to change the scale to negative one. And it makes all of our leaves nothing, which is what we want. But I want to be able to animate this up. So I'm going to go into the fall off tab, change this shape to a linear shape. And now as we move this, it's going to change we have to change the direction. So you can see here there's a little arrow which is up. But I want to animate this kind of the opposite way. So I want to point this arrow down. Now as we move our effector up, these leaves will grow on. And so now what we have to do is just animate the position of our shader effector according to where vines are. So let's move this down to where there's no growth. Set a keyframe. Go all the way to the end of our animation, move this up, set another keyframe. And if we hit play, you can see it starts to grow and then our leaves grow on with it. So just like that, we have some ivy vines growing up our object and the ivy leaves grow on as it animates up. Now, if we really zoom in close here, it's never exactly perfect. And for a solution like this, it's never going to be exactly perfect. Like it looks like some of these just kind of appear out of nowhere. And that's kind of what you get if you're using a plugin like this. If you want a insanely close shot and you want this to look perfect. And I don't know if there's a plugin that would do that where it's completely physically accurate. But for this, you know, if it's, you know, far away, animated up, it looks pretty decent. But it's that insanely close up stuff where the IV generator might let you down just slightly. But for now, this is a way you can animate the growth of IV in Cinema 4D. And again, check the description for links to where you can download it if you don't already have it, or a link to part one where I showed you how to animate these blown in the wind. But until next time, this is Glenn with DigitalSandwich.net.